Dave here for the Thunder Mesa Mining Company. I've just been finishing up the wiring under the layout and getting everything ready to roll in the new Coyote Canyon and Hanging Rock sections. I gotta tell you, I've been working on the railroad all the live long day and there's tons to show you, so let's get started. Oh, right after I finish this. Between Calico and Hanging Rock will be a veritable nature's wonderland of breathtaking canyons, buttes, mesas, and balancing rocks. The benchwork, track, and wiring are all finished for these sections, and I'm just about ready to start on scenery. The Hanging Rock section will feature some teetering boulders and a deep, narrow slot canyon. I've already started mocking up some scenery in Hanging Rock, which is shaping up to be a notorious haunt for outlaws. Three bridges will cross Horse Thief Slot Canyon here, and the stub end track up above is the beginning of the branch line up to Big Thunder Camp. The next section is Coyote Canyon. This is also where the ON18 Calico Mining Company will be located. Temporary plywood bridges span the canyon for now. When completed, trains will cross a hundred scaled feet above the river below. With all of the mainline track work complete, we can now follow a train over the entire layout from the sleepy border village of San Lorenzo to the rollicking boomtown of Thunder Mesa. In San Lorenzo, let's hop aboard the old yellow caboose for an excursion over the main line. Just out of San Lorenzo, the train will enter a tunnel beneath some old Indian pueblos and start up the 3% grade. The grade tops out here at Spiral Butte Junction, where the branch line heads up to Big Thunder Camp. Crossing a 72-foot span above Coyote Canyon, the train will then enter a tunnel disappearing beneath Calico Mountain. The ON18 Calico Mining Company layout will be a portable module that sits directly above the main line here. Leaving Calico behind, we cross Coyote Canyon again, this time on a 96-foot long span. Next up at the Devil's Garden Balancing Rocks, Horse Thief Slot Canyon, and the tiny whistle-stop bird of Hanging Rock. Right about here, the train will enter Rainbow Caverns, and the engine yard and San Lorenzo beyond will be hidden behind a scenic ridge. You might even call it a Rainbow Ridge. The caverns themselves will be home to a rushing underground stream and colorful subterranean rock formations. Emerging from Rainbow Caverns, we finally enter the scenic part of the layout at Dinosaur Gap. Still some work to do here on Geyser Gulch Trestle, and one of these days, those geysers are going to erupt. Passing through McKenna Arch, we come to the Cactus Forest and Solaro Sighting. Then it's just a hop, skip, and a jump across Big Thunder Creek, past the mill area, and on to Thunder Mesa Depot. And that'll about wrap it up for this excursion. Man, I gotta tell you, it's great to have all that track laid and all that wiring done and to be able to run trains over the entire layout. See you next time. Adios for now.